నమస్కారం సద్గురు సద్గురు సాలిగ్రామం అయిన అది ఒక స్పెషల్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ స్టోన్ అది డిఫరెంట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ కాన్సెక్రేట్ పండ్లా వేరియస్ తాంత్రిక్ ప్రాక్టీసెస్కి యూస్ పండ్లా అని సొల్రాంగ ఇస్ దర్ ఎనీ స్పెసిఫికేషన్ లైక్ వాట్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ మెటీరియల్స్ వీ కెన్ యూస్ ఫర్ సచ్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రాక్టీసెస్ ఆర్ కాన్సెక్రేషన్స్ అండ్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద స్పెసిఫిక్ దిస్ థింగ్ ఆఫ్ సాలిగ్రామ్ Saligram, generally what you find in the stores is mostly an egg-shaped stone. Children who could not buy marbles used to pick stones in the rivers and play games with it, you know? <laughs> yes? Children who can't buy glass marbles went to the river and picked up round-shaped stones and started playing with it. And somebody made the… a simple game a very serious thing. So most of the saligram that you see are just stones without any particular… they're just nice stones. I hope people start… stop picking them from the riverbeds because at this rate, I was telling them when we went to Kailash, everybody wants to pick up a stone. There was a time when people were walking from here, from Tamil Nadu, people walked all the way to Kailash. If ten people started off, only two people came back. At that time it was okay for those people to bring two small pieces of stone all the way because anyway they wouldn't bring this big stone carrying, walking all the way back. They brought two small stones for the eight people that they left back there. That was okay. Now you're going in vehicles very comfortably and you want to load up bagfuls of stones and come home at this rate. I was just telling them, if this happens in a few years, the whole of Kailash will be in Tamil Nadu. <laughs> We're transporting the whole mountain piece by piece <laughs> The number of people that are going and we are planning to take thousands of people. So please leave the Kailash stones in Kailash, it's no good for you. <laughs> you want to carry some water, it's okay. Water migrates without your permission. Stones still don't migrate. So wherever the stones are from, Ganga, Yamuna, wherever, if you pick them up, please carry it all the way back and throw it back into the same river. Because uh, the life in that river has to happen, all these things are needed. Saligram is a particular kind of stone which is extremely rare to find. Generally, sea anemones are being sold as saligrams. Any piece of stone is being sold as saligram, Tho those are not saligrams. Or people are molding them in various kind of raisins and selling them. Definitely that is not saligram. Saligram is a rare piece of stone which… which is one in a billion if you manage to pick it. And even if you pick it, you may not know the difference unless you are of a certain kind. And if you happen to pick a genuine saligram, if you do happen to pick a genuine saligram, then you are in real trouble because you should know how to manage this. Otherwise, you will be in lot of trouble. It can also make your life if you know how to use it. It's a great treasure if you know how to use it. Otherwise, it can be disastrous if you do not know how to use it. People who are living in family situations, simple lives without much discipline, without much focus, without much awareness, should never ever keep a saligram in their home. If they do, they could go through any amount of turmoil. We have seen such families. Somebody, you know, two, three generations ago, your grandmother, grandfather, somebody brought a saligram, they… they made their life out of it. But after they died, the next generation do not know how to keep it and those families go through such turmoil and such horrors which are unimaginable because they simply do not know how to manage the energy. It is like you have a powerhouse, 
you have a, a power generating source in your house and you don't know how to manage the energy and you will be constantly in trouble, isn't it? Whatever you touch, you will be in trouble. So this is just like that, it's a tremendous power storehouse of energy. It is like a mini cosmos, it is a microcosmos in its own way because it carries the same type of energy as cosmos would in its magnified version. So, this thing about seeking Yekamukhi, seeking Saligrams, uh, please leave these things alone. This is not genuine spiritual process. This is souvenir collection, you know. Wherever you go, you want to pick up something and think this is sacred, that is sacred. Everybody wants a Yekamukhi. You yourself have many faces. When you have many faces, if you wear a Yekamukhi, you're asking for trouble. If your whole life is just one-pointed and then you wear it, it's a great thing. Your life is going in different directions, you're playing many roles, you have different faces for different people that you see in your life. Don't you? Don't you have many faces, I'm asking? When you have many faces, if you, wake a, if you wear a ekamukhi, you're looking for trouble, just like that. Stop looking for these fanciful things, there is something that you can do with this one, let's do that. Instead of going about looking for fancy pieces of something in a riverbed or on a tree or wherever else, leave them. If you deserve such things, it will come to you somehow but I don't think you need them right now.